Hi, it's Chris Price here from Shiny Shiny TV, and I'm here with Chris Ramsey. Hello, Chris. Pleased to meet you. Chris. Nice to meet you. So, um, Mongol Rally, what's it, what's it all about? What are you doing? Well, the Mongol Rally is a 10,000 mile non competitive rally, from, okay. and it starts in Goodwood, yeah. uh, motor racing circuit. And we end in Ulan Udi in Ula, South Siberia. Ulan where? Ulan Udi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's the South Siberia. Yeah. yeah. Um, and how far is that? We're 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles. And I'm basically going to be the first person to, well, I'm the first person to enter. Yeah. And I'm going to be the first person to complete the Monga Rally. In, in this little thing, which yeah. is a Nissan Leaf. It's a, yep, 30 kilo. This is, this is the, the main uh, electric vehicle in the UK, isn't it? The yes. one that's the biggest selling. It's the biggest vehicle. selling um, electric vehicle on the market. Um, and it's actually a car that I own myself. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I've chosen the Nissan Leaf. And, and, and is it up to it, do you think? Oh, 10, definitely. miles. Definitely. You're going to um, be having to stop everywhere, aren't you? To, to fill up, to fill up with, uh, with, uh, with not <laughs> fill up with fuel, but uh, <laughs> fill up with electricity. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's, that's one of the part of the, the things I like about this adventure. To me, I think it's strange that nobody's ever tried and done this before. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, yeah. Driving along, stopping every hundred miles is what I'm planning to do. Right. Charge points, the whole infrastructure, everything's been mapped, the whole route. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when I stop, especially in Kazakhstan and Mongolia, 100 miles, then I get to experience the culture, meet locals, yeah, and have a whole local. adventure. So you're going to be there with your plug, come and plug me yeah, in, plug me in. <laughs> yeah. So where are you going to stop in Mongolia and Kazakhstan and places so like we've, that? So we've tied in with a lot of local businesses and the, the local governments there. Yeah, They're yeah. pretty switched on to the whole electric revolution that's happening yeah. around the world. So. They've given us access to a number of businesses and organisations and projects that are going on over right. there and allowing us to access their electricity. Yeah, yeah. So access and difference of 240, 240 volt supplies. Um, and the whole point of this is not, is to open people's minds to the whole new thing of charge points. Yes. So essentially you have a building, you have a charge point. So this car, you're not, you're not cheating, you're not carrying a massive big generator on the back no. of it. <laughs> no. You've got a, you haven't got a big battery hidden away or something. Or, no. You know, it's essentially a, it's it's, essentially a Nissan Leaf yeah. that you can buy off the, off yeah. the shelf as it were. It is, yeah. yeah. So it's a bog standard 30 kilowatt Nissan Leaf Ascenter. Yeah, yeah. And all we've really done is added a little bit of raising to the suspension, okay. protected the underside of the vehicle, Yeah. Um, and we stripped out the back end of the car, the back seats and everything. So we've reduced the weight by about 34 kg. Yeah. And roof rack, that's it. Yeah, it's yeah. built for comfort, it's built for the whole adventure, but it is just a bog standard Nissan Leaf drivetrain. So, so apart from the challenges of trying to find uh, power points, and obviously you've, you've sort of sorted that out yep. already, what, what other challenges do you expect to face when you're out there on this, this epic journey? Well, the other challenges is, well, the, the simple ones, language barrier. That's yeah. going to be the great fun. Um, but we're also very intrigued to see how the border crossings are going to go. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Heard some nice stories about four or five hours sitting at a yeah. border crossing. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that's going to be quite interesting. Have you got interesting. some local currency or some US dollars to, uh, <laughs> to bribe some officials with? Yeah. Obviously, we wouldn't be doing that. No, no, we wouldn't be doing that. No, you cut that bit. Cut that bit. So have you done anything like this before, Chris? Yeah, so I've already done John O'Groats to Land's End in a Nissan Leaf, yeah. um, and I basically went back again. I enjoyed it so much going there, I went <laughs> back straight afterwards. Yeah, but this is a whole new ball game, isn't it? It is. I mean, that's only, yeah. what, 1,000 miles or something? That was that? 1,600 miles, but okay. I did that in under just over 40 hours. Right, and this so, is, how long is this going to take you to get to, uh, what's the name of the place again? Ulan Udi. Ulan Udi. Yeah. yeah, so I'm planning on a six to eight week trip. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like I say, the whole point of this is the adventure, it's not how quick I get there. Yeah, of course. So six to eight weeks is what we're planning um, because in eight weeks time, there's a party at the end and that's what I'm looking forward oh, to. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's good. We're gonna cover something in the region about seven and a half to 10,000 miles, depending on what detours and, yeah. and things we see along the way. And you're gonna be by yourself for, for some of it? Or? No, I'm fortunate enough to have a wife who yeah. loves adventuring and traveling and yeah, electric vehicles. Great. So yeah. she'll be coming along as well as my logistics yeah, support. Lots of, uh, yeah, lots of time to, uh, <laughs> to have arguments along the way, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, I'm well, fortunate. I wish you all the best, Chris. Yeah, sounds, thank you very much. A great adventure. Thanks very much. Great for coming thank to see you. the car. Yeah, let's have a look at the car. Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the interior of uh, the car you're going to be driving. It looks pretty standard to me, is yeah. it, Chris? So as I say, we've we've kept the interior bog standard. It's a, just a standard trim from the the uh, centre range. Yeah, and so you've got sat nav built in. Is that going to work? Sat nav's got... all there. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. We do have a backup uh, satellite system as well, just like the usual. Oh, uh, okay. A GPS system, just in case. Just in case. Yeah. And, and then what about, what about the back? What have we got there? As you say, with the back end. We've not, completely not very ripped sociable, out. No, no room no. For, uh, for passengers. Luggage, hitchhikers, but... luggage space and charge cable space is uh, most, yeah. most important there. So the whole ends, back end has been stripped out. As you can see, that's normally where your back seats would be sitting. Yeah. 
Yeah. But that's all gone now and gives us much luggage space. And you've space. got, a, as you can see, you've got a spare tire on the roof. These are the rally tires you've These got. These are the rally the tires, yeah. For the, uh, for the rough terrain. Yeah. But and, other than that, and that's it. It's, that's it's it. bog standard. Yeah. Okay. Great stuff. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much.